name is Nicole Osley. I'm 23 years old. I live in Apple Valley. Um, I went to Inver Hills Community College for my general education and graduated from there two years ago. I was thinking about uh, doing accounting for a while and then decided that I really didn't want to do that every day of my life and decided on architecture um, once I graduated and saw that DCTC had a program for it mm -hmm. and it was close to home so I decided to come here. In fifth grade, I won um, a Best Architecture Award for building a bridge really? out of toothpicks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do you still have it? No, I don't. <laughs> I wish I did. It was always an idea. I took architecture classes in high school, too. Um, that was mostly hand drawing for the first like year, and then the very last class that I did um, started us on AutoCAD, which is basically what we do in program so that you I was in before. High school. I did, yeah. That's good. An earlier version, but pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I really liked it. It was pretty challenging in the beginning, just getting used to being in a program where you do one thing all day, because I was so used to having a bunch of different classes, yeah. like all day, doing a bunch of different things, and and then just getting used to doing one thing all day, I really liked it. Just like the hands-on and the small class size of being able to be helped by your teacher at all times, pretty much. I mean, I pretty much did the gen eds because I was still figuring out what I was doing, but I'm really glad that I did that first now because it was a big challenge for my other classmates to fit all that in because my first semester it was 17 credits just doing the architecture. And once you get into it and you see the demanding like how demanding it is it just kind of it kind of weeds people out the first semester because you do hand drawings which is really really tough like doing hand drawings and get the, getting the techniques of line weights yeah. down and stuff and Charles was he was a tough teacher but he he made it so the people who really wanted to be there were there yeah, at that the makes end. Sense. yeah I'm kind of a perfectionist so I really like the straight lines and stuff of yeah, okay. architecture and drawing itself I really I kind of liked it but then once you get on the computer you're kind of like I don't think I could ever go back to doing hand drawings because it's so much easier to do it on the computer but the whole thing with doing hand drawings is to get the technique of like what line weights you should be using and the, just, and just drawing like it and knowing what you're doing and that's the whole purpose of doing the hand drawings in the first semester. I want to be in a firm. I want to be doing drawings. I want some some design um, opportunities. But the whole reason why I really, I mean, I'm more into like the technical stuff, kind of, of like doing the drawings. I don't think that I could do the whole like designing an entire building it's like so much work and that's why you're working in the really architectural true. technology you're working under an architect you're working for an architect so it takes a long long time to become an architect and I really I just want to be working for an architect have some responsibilities with um, design I mean you just learn so much when you're in it that okay. even if you do have minimal skills you just you do one thing over and over and over again until you perfect it in architecture. Because okay. we work with the hand drawings until we perfect the hand drawings, and then we start with AutoCAD, and just as you go on, you perfect what you're doing. And you turn in drawings so many times until they're absolutely perfect. The project that I'm working on is a portable art gallery for the Dakota County Arts Commission. It is a project that we were given at the beginning of our second year in the architecture program by Beverly. The Dakota County Arts Commission came to DCTC um, asking us to come up with several different designs like everybody in our, um, in our program did a design. Well, they gave us um, like the criteria of what they needed, like how big they wanted it, like what they wanted to be displayed in it. Um, just some features that they want really wanted in there and so then they gave us the challenge of coming up with ideas for it so then everybody in the class came up with their own and you won 
I did. Good we went through a process of the students um, pick their favorites, and then after the students picked their favorites, the actual Dakota County Arts Commission came in and looked at all our all of our designs, and they picked mine. That's. I bet you were happy that day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, also, I was in a group with three other guys, and I was the one girl in there, and they picked mine. Because you come up with these ideas. When we first started this, we came up with the ideas, and then once we had the ideas, you had to make it actually stand up and work. Yeah. Because, like, you're not completely focused on that when you're doing a presentation drawing. A presentation drawing is just showing the client what it will look like, what, like, basically look like. It doesn't have any dimensions on it or anything so once I came up with the idea it was more like this isn't going to work because it's too tall this isn't going to work because it's yeah. too wide this might fall on somebody a kid might trip over this I think the thing that they really liked about my design was that everything could be taken down easily because all of them are pan like single panels that can be taken off and put That's into smart. a truck I looked at a lot of different websites when I was uh, preparing to do it, and the whole perfectionist thing came in again because, like, I was kind of scrambling to get the first deadline done because, like, I was researching everything so much before that. And, I mean, I was looking at, like, I don't know, like, details that a lot of other people weren't really looking at, like, what I was actually using because they did want somewhat of a green design yeah and with my design we're using a product called three form and it's a resin for her um, panel so it's lighter and because it's a resin they can change the color you can send it in they can change the color so it can be reused over and over again for different things yep it's going to be local artists in oh, Dakota okay. County it's going to be local artwork it's going to be painting sculptures the gallery itself is expandable. It can be expanded, and it can also be shrunk down. And that's what they liked also, that they had options on how they're going to set it up depending on the building, because that was, a huge, um, that was a huge obstacle that we had to go through because you can't nail anything into the gr You can't screw anything into the ground. You can't attach lights to the ceiling. You don't know how high the ceiling's going to be. You don't know if it's going to be bright in there. You don't know if it's going to be able to fit through the door. So with the design itself, the panels that I designed can be fit into the bookcases that I designed also to anchor it. So pretty much everything kind of goes into itself when you transport it. I just can't wait until it's built. <laughs> Well, it will be, don't worry. Yeah, it's going to it's, it's going to be a very exciting time for yeah. that. <laughs>